Hey, this is Digital by Computing. We're gonna go through an application called Gemini 2 by a company called MacPaw. This app lets you find and scan your computer for duplicate files, uh, copies of, you know, one, two, three copies of a file that you may have sitting on your Mac, automatically scans them, automatically finds them, and lets you delete them. So to get the download of the app and to, you know, register it and everything, just click on that link down the bottom. In my description of the video, I've got a link that you can click on directly to link to the video so you can go ahead and download it and use it. Uh, it is a great application, so I'd highly recommend to do that. So we're gonna check out how to do that on the Mac right after this. All right, so we've got Gemini downloaded here. Gemini 2, we're just gonna go ahead and double click on it to open it up. All right, and we're presented with a simple area here to add or drop folders. So it's gonna actually scan these particular folders or your entire hard drive of your computer and look for those duplicate files. So I'm gonna click on the plus right here. I'm gonna click on Macintosh HD, which is my root hard drive. Okay, and you'll see that it's selected Macintosh HD just here, and that will then when I click on scan for duplicates, it will scan the entire hard drive. I can also select a different area. I can select just my desktop. You'll see that now we'll add Macintosh hard drive and desktop both onto here. So we can add you know, multiple locations where the app can actually scan and find for those duplicate files. All right, so I'm just gonna close out of these two. Because all I wanted to do is just to scan my initial um, home drive, right? Which for some of you may be already selected by default, which may just show your icon here as home. And that will be the login profile that you're logged into at the moment on your Mac. Otherwise, your full hard drive will be every single um, profile and file and application and everything for every single one of your users. So you just select whatever you wanna select in here. And then we scan for duplicates. And do a quick scan, because there's not too many files, it shouldn't take too long. There you go, so it's found five meg, found in Amelia, which is my particular folder. You'll see that it'll show me 4.9 in documents, 25 kilobytes in other and 33 kilobytes in folders. I can then click on review to review what they are. All right, so it's found these files and you can actually see I can expand this and it will show me that there are actually two of these numbers, this Mass Vita gear numbers um, spreadsheet located in two different locations and that's also true for each of these. So I can go ahead and click on one of them. I can remove and also select both of them if you want to remove them both, but obviously we don't want to do that. All right, so I can just select the ones that I want to remove. Okay, well this is the one I want to keep, so I don't want this one. All right, so I've selected two files. You'll see here that it's found one, it's selected one of two, one of two. And I can click on remove and it's now removed two files and it's given me a little indication here of achievements unlocked. So you can click on this little arrow, on this little star and it just tells you essentially what's just happened, okay? Nice little, uh, nice little thing. You know, the more I delete, I get these little medals. It makes your uh, deleting of, of duplicate files more fun. You can click on remaining files to then see which files are remaining. So showing all of them and then broken down into documents, folders, and others down here, nice and easily. You can also change the view between the two. All right, so I can go back here, review. These two have been trashed. I can put them back if I want to, or I can just say done. And that is the trick. All right, start over. I can then go ahead and delete 
some other duplicate files. Let's now select my entire hard drive. This will take a little bit longer to scan. Scan for duplicates. A cool feature is you'll see that it's actually picked up my iTunes library. So because my Macintosh HD contains my iTunes library, it's going to scan my iTunes and find duplicates in there as well. So you can actually skip it if you don't want it to scan your iTunes library, or you can say open and that will always go and do that as well. I won't do it for now, but it's a nice feature. And that's the same of your photos library. So if you have duplicate photos in there as well, it will find those duplicate photos. We're going to skip it for now. All right, so this is a little bit more significant. You'll see that now it's found 5.94 gig worth of files broken down by videos, archives, audio, images, etc., etc. The same as before, I can do a review of results. So this has obviously found a lot more files in here, a lot that are more duplicates, showing me essentially where those files are located. All right, so you can then go through, navigate to what you want to delete, and then delete them as you need. You can also change some preferences of the Gemini app by going into the taskbar on the top left and going into preferences and you can actually customize how you want. So what's the minimum file size that you want to do? Automatic, or you can do it up to 200 meg. A few other bits and pieces, similar files, achievements, sounds, if you want to do this. If you don't want the achievements, you can just remove those and they won't show up anymore. You can have reminders. How often do you want the app to remind you to scan your computer? This is a great feature. So you can actually have it set to never scan or once in two weeks, which is the default, or annually or monthly, etc. Ignore list. You can add in here files and folders and extensions that you want to ignore because there could be ins instances where duplicate files are needed uh, for the application, for some operating systems, or some files that you may want to have two copies of in two different locations for whatever reason. So you can add those into this ignore list so that uh, it ignores them and doesn't scan them. Smart selection, you can create some selection rules. Always select, never select, you can add the paths directly as well. Removal, move to trash, move to an alternate fo uh, folder, or remove permanently. Remove empty folders, um, if a removed duplicate appears in to be in the last files in the folders, Gemini will remove the folder to make your storage neater and also replace files with hard links. And then your standard updates. How often do you want to check for updates? Do you want to update to beta versions, etc., etc.? So Gemini is a um, free software that you can use for a number of days, but I would highly recommend you go and purchase it. Uh, the features are great. It is not very expensive, but it will save you on hard drive space. Uh, in the long run, and it'll just help you in general to keep your Mac clean because you'll find that duplicate files, as much as you can think, I don't have many duplicate files, over time you will start to accumulate them and there's really no easier way to go and find them. Um, so this makes that process very, very easily. So that is it, Gemini by MacPaw, excellent application for finding duplicate files on your Mac. I use it very, very frequently. I found it very, very easy to use, um, and it's just less of a headache than you manually going in and trying to delete those files and find those files yourself. So if you found that video helpful, please like it and subscribe to my channel, Digital Byte Computing, just on the button there for more videos.